Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going live today on this Sunday um, because I don't, um, yeah, I just, I'm <laughs> I've been a little busy uh, trying to, you know, live life or whatever. So I'll just give it a few seconds to load up. I don't know if the sound is good or not, but let me reverse out of the store. Let me just get the fuck out of here. Okay, you're all set. You're all set. Anyway, hi guys. <laughs> so I am literally on the hunt for sugar free popsicles, preferably the tropical fruit flavor. Um, tropical fruit flavors I've done and I've purchased those for both of my surgeries um, and I can't find them anywhere there was a shortage high shortage apparently on all sugar-free products um, and a lot of frozen products so <laughs> hello goodbye <laughs> that's that's my luck really let's be honest that's my luck okay. so I am having surgery this Wednesday so in three days and I am now on day seven of my pre-op liquid diet or pre-op diet. Um, I actually opted for not doing that many shakes and for doing mostly like lean proteins. Like I've eaten tuna, uh, sliced deli meat, which is turkey or ham because that's really all I eat, um, and boiled eggs. And, of course, I have some shakes in the fridge if in case I feel like I'm not getting the nutrients that I need. Um, just make sure we're good. Live chat. Okay, cool. Um, so, anyway, uh, I have lost seven pounds in seven days. Um, I did cheat a little bit. I had a little bit of mashed potatoes the other day. And I wasn't too happy with myself um, because I shouldn't have. I just I shouldn't have fucking ate it. Um, so what I've been doing is eating just tuna with seasonings, um, eating boiled eggs. Uh, what else have I been eating? Boiled tuna, shrimp. I've just been sautéing shrimp with no oil, no butter, none of that. Um, veggies. I haven't dib dibble dabbled into veggies. I'm allowed a cup of cooked veggies or two cups of raw veggies, which, oh God, I would love a salad right now, which is so strange. Um, but I feel like I'm just like, let me just stick to the protein so I can get my protein intake for the day. Um, and then I've been just trying to rest at night. So I just put my feet up and try to relax. I've been on this cleaning spree where I'm just cleaning and, and kind of nesting, I guess, in a way. Um, moved in my kid to college um, yesterday. Um, I saw my niece, I had my niece for a couple weeks, and um, sent her on her way back to where she lives yesterday too, so it was, it was a lot, it was a little bit emotional day, um, it just, it's a lot going on, especially with COVID, and you know, people dealing with all that stuff, well, let me not say that before I get demonetized, I don't really care, um, I know it's hard and stuff like that, but you know what? I've been able to do it. I've lost seven pounds in seven days. I've kind of just, I think I lose like two to three pounds every two days. So for the first two days, I lost four pounds and then I lost an additional three pounds in two days. And I weighed myself again today and I weighed the same that I weighed yesterday. And yesterday was like day six. I mean, well, technically it's like day five. Today's day six. I don't know because I, I I worked that Monday, so I ate the night before. So it was just it was weird. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm trying to find these sugar-free popsicles. I cannot, for the life of me, fucking find them anywhere, anywhere. So I'm allowed to have as much broth as I like, as long as there's no carbs in the broth. Um, there's a lot of sodium in broth, so I'm kind of like trying to stay clear from it. But I am uh, drinking or sipping on broth. Uh, throughout the day I make it seem like it's soup so in my head I'm having a meal um, I'll have one or one boiled egg a day uh, two ounces of deli meat a day and then I'll have like tuna once or twice a day uh, depending on how I'm feeling um, and then I'll have sugar-free jello which I'm allowed to have as much I guess as I want to sugar-free jello um, 
don't know. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I'm looking for these sugar-free popsicles, and I can't fucking find them anywhere. And I found these sugar-free twin pops. They're, like, generic. And they got, like, 14 grams of carbs. And I'm like, bruh, how is that sugar-free? That's not sugar-free. That's, that's, that's not sugar. <laughs> so, right now, I'm going to go to Target. I just wanted to update you guys real quick. I'm, I've gone to gone to four stores already in the last three hours and I cannot fucking find it I ended up at Walmart and ended up picking up some stuff for the kid for college and some stuff for around the house but no sugar-free popsicles because you know we out of stock or whatever um thanks <laughs> uh yeah I mean I'm happy that I'm like there I got COVID tested um the guidelines for I'm in Connecticut so the guidelines for having surgery or any kind of procedures would be that you have to get COVID tested um, no later than five days before um, your procedure. Uh, they want that test done as a rapid test. I got my results the same day. I dozed off. I finally fell asleep, guys. I've been sleeping, sleeping. At least I've been sleeping. I don't, I don't want to tell you how many hours I've been sleeping, but I've been sleeping, okay? Um, because to y'all, a full night's sleep is a good six to probably nine hours to me a good night's sleep is like four hours <laughs> that, that's a full night's sleep to me um and me working the two full-time jobs i'm doing 45 minutes a day if that of sleep so um but anyway i've been off from both jobs uh for the last week and i feel really good like i thought i was gonna be like worried i can give a shit less right now um, I miss my night peeps because I love my night crew. Like, we just it's just a different energy, and just that's it. That's all I got. Um, I've like stopped at every grocery store I can possibly stop in. All these Shoprite, oh, Stop and Shop, Walmart, uh, Price Right. I actually been to five places. That never mind. Um, and none of them have this fucking sugar-free popsicles so i'm getting annoyed um but anyway um i'm part of this group so i i strongly recommend that if you are looking into weight loss surgery or you have had weight loss surgery and you're kind of like falling a little bit um i totally recommend finding like a local facebook group or even see if your surgical team the team that did your surgery if they have a group on facebook like a support group because mine does and it's it's amazing everyone's so cool and you get to see people's progress you get to see people's pain you get to see people plateau and be miserable you get to see all that realness and i totally recommend you guys joining because you will see you are not the only one you are not a failure every day is a new day every second is a new second every meal is a new opportunity to start again so yesterday or whatever day i was when i cheated and i had my mashed potatoes um I was like, no, absolutely not. So for the rest of the day, I just drank water, just kind of just drank my fluids. Um, I've been finding some sugar-free options, but I also want to be careful because I hear that all these sugar-free options are not good for your teeth. And um, <laughs> we're not trying to do that either. So I found this Powerade. Oh, my God. It's in the trunk, actually. It's this Powerade mango-flavored. It's, it's clear. It comes in a water, and it's sugar-free. You guys let me know if you know what it is. It's, it's, I don't know if it's Powerade Quench or something like that. Because I drink Gatorade Zero. Love it. I love that stuff. Uh, that stuff has gotten me through some rough patches of me trying not to drink sugar. Um, so the Gatorade Zero has it worked wonders for me. It's, I think, zero calories or 10 calories or something like that. But anyway, this Powerade was amazing. And it tastes like mango. I mean, they have a cucumber lime flavor, which I'm not really a fan of cucumber in my water, to be real frank, unless it's fresh. And even then, I get sick of it very quickly. But this stuff is amazing. So I found that. I picked up four bottles of that. So I figured I can have one every other day and then save, like, two for after surgery to kind of, like, if, if I need something with flavor. Because I know my, I know how it's going to be. I'm going to have nasty taste in my mouth. So, yeah, I've lost seven pounds in let's say seven days and I think I'm good I feel good um I, I was so worried about that COVID test though like you don't understand it's not my first time taking a COVID test but it was like out of all the fucking times 
I'll probably be positive would be when I have to have surgery, but I'm not, and I'm, like, happy about that, and this guy right next to me is looking at me because I look crazy talking to you guys, but, you know, I don't care, um, but, yeah, right now, we're going to Target, we are looking, what else is over here, we are looking for sugar-free popsicles, guys, that's just it, um, I wanted to update you guys sooner, but I've just been so busy trying to spend time with my family and just kind of nesting and cleaning and doing all these things and like really just taking off my pants and laying down when I can't any chance I get, I just take off my pants and lay down. Um, but I miss you guys. I had old videos that I could have like edited and uploaded, but I wasn't happy with those videos. Like I felt like they were just too old for me to upload. I didn't feel comfortable uploading them. You guys know what I look like now. And I, some of those videos, I still had, like, long red hair. I cut my hair, like, two months ago. Excuse me, sir. Can I go? Can I pass? Um, and so just me seeing that I substantially changed or that it was a completely different fucking season, I just didn't want to upload those videos. I, I just didn't feel comfortable. I didn't like them either. I was just like, okay, well, we're, we're very unhappy here. Um, so I just... I like giving you guys fresher content. If it's like a month old, that doesn't bother me. But when it's like fucking seven months, six months old, I'm not uploading that. I just cannot. I can't get myself to do that. We are now in Octo October. <laughs> We're now in August. And I had stuff from like February, March. Like, no. So I'm sorry, but I just can't do it. So... Yeah, I'm here at Target. Everybody's, like, hustling to shop, and I forgot what day of the week it was. I'm just, like, whatever, okay? I'm just living, okay? Um, hopefully I could find something at this Target, but I doubt it because all these towns that I've hit up and, like, close to even my area, we all had power outages. Like, the power was out in all of the state of Connecticut, so it's going to be really hard to find something. I know in the group they said one city where that was at but that's about 20 minutes away and i don't know if i feel like i want to take the drive out the opposite end and then go home and i'm starting to get hungry because it's been i ate at 6 a.m it's now about it'll be 11 30 so six yeah it's been five hours and i should be eating some sort of protein um and this is the problem is that i go to run errands and then i'm just here miserable because I haven't eaten anything so hopefully I can find something if not I can grab one of the Powerades and just kind of sip on it I do have some um, Gatorade Zero in here which I don't like having in this bottle I like just having water um, but whatever hey guys 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 let me go let me go <laughs> I'm annoying I'm annoying when I drive but yeah of course i ended up buying myself another pair of sneakers actually two more pairs of sneakers i don't have a shoe problem okay you have a shoe problem anyway um <laughs> so i am here at tarjay we'll see what we can find why does the rain look like it's soapy water like the rain literally looks like it's soapy water looks like it's soapy water everywhere it's the weirdest shit i've ever seen guys what the fuck are you doing You know when someone's like really trying to get a parking like I could have been a prick and taken the parking spot but just watching them struggle to get into the spot getting aggravated I can see it's aggravated <laughs> I don't know it makes my day it makes my day humans are fucking weirdos <laughs> but anyway I mean I don't mind taking the walk I've had some strange energy and I feel because I've omitted carbs and stuff like that I've got this ridiculous weird energy but i'm exhausted just for the record so anyway um i will probably do numbers after surgery like i'll do like um how much weight i've gained when i started my journey again like how much i weighed then and then if i've lost anything after surgery i don't know i might do i think i don't remember what i did last time i know the first time i was like weekly updates or by by daily updates or some shit like that but i don't know what you guys want to see let me know down below if you guys even care Huh. Just let me know. They put on my mask. This is this is the life. I'm not even worried about it. This is the life. I'd rather people wear masks and be careful. I don't want you to spit on me any fucking way, whether whether this was pre-COVID or not. I don't want you to spit on me anyway. So, 
here we are. So I'm gonna go to Walmart. No, wait, I'm sorry, Target. We're gonna go to Target, and I'm gonna go see if the popsicles are there because if they're not there, I really have none. <laughs> I'm even trying to find them online. I can't find them online. I want sugar-free popsicles. Like, I need something different. I've been doing this for seven days. Oh, oh thank you. Listen, weight, dealing with your weight, whether you're overweight, medium, or just unhappy with the way you feel or whatever, we all deal with this. Whether you're slim and fit, you still want to maintain, right? Uh, whether you're plus size like me and you have health issues, I don't really have too many health issues besides chronic pain, but that's muscular and that's nobody's business. But anyway, um, I also have other pain like joint pain that I know me losing weight would help. Um, I think we're all strong. I, I think we all deal with things differently. I appreciate you for saying that. I think that's that's the sweetest thing. I, it takes a lot. When you're ready... Ooh! Oh, you got stitches? Wait, where are the comments? This is rude. I can't see the comments. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry you got stitches. What the hell are the comments? Oh, well, you know, the comments kind of come and go, and I don't know how to work this thing. Um, I think we all deal with our strengths differently, uh, whether it be we may be letting ourselves go, but we are dealing with taking care of other people making sure other people are taken care of um y'all see my little bathroom thing i picked up because you know we're trying to organize um strength comes in different uh levels and in different scenarios so um i do think i'm a strong person so i appreciate you for acknowledging that and for for recognizing that and i appreciate you period um but it takes a lot because there's times, of course, we all feel weak and we all feel tried. And I know this is weird me talking with the mask on, but I'm trying to warm up. My face is cold. Um, and I think we all deal with our strengths differently. Oh. <gasps> no, undo. I said undo. Happen. I don't know what I just did. I did something. Well, I fucked up somewhere. Sorry. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what I did with the comments. I fucked up the comments. I'm sorry, guys. Um. Yeah. It. It. Sometimes it takes a lot out of you when you're dealing with a scenario or situation or you get hurt. Or you deal with family or stressors or work, whatever. It takes a lot out of you. You can only take things moment by moment at this point. Especially now. If anyone realizes now that you need to take things moment by moment, it would be now. Now would be the time to be like, well, we have no other choice. We have no control. We have no options. We could just control what we can control and that's that. Um, granted, we have every right to be angry and upset and sad. Um, but uh, you, you can't let it... I guess kill you for lack of better terms you can't let it get the best of you um you can't let it just do unreversible damage is what i'm saying is you're gonna have to take a moment for yourself every day whether it be three minutes put a timer where you go sit down i don't give a shit if you're just staring out the window and you're just like this and just breathing it's for you it's for nobody else but you and i've had to learn different coping um strategies and how I had I now have different coping mechanisms with it whether it comes with my stressors with working two jobs or me gaining the weight and not being able to lose it me dealing with the reflux and vomiting every fucking two seconds um me dealing with certain people that I rather not deal with um so I understand that we're all going through shit and it's really re taken a reflection on my channel because I haven't been able to be myself on my channel. I haven't been able to upload. I'm exhausted all the time. And I hope that, you know, I can just kind of take it back and get to a place where I'm like, all right, here we go. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this weekly. Um, which I know I'm capable of doing. I just didn't want to because I don't feel like it. And I'm not there. I'm not there in the headspace. And I don't want to give you guys crap content. And I don't want to give you guys content where it's like, oh, she looks 
forced. <laughs> so for now, we will be doing the bariatric surgery updates. Um, and maybe one day I'll just sit down in my bed and do my makeup with you guys and go live and be you know, like a fucking hour and a half. Um, it might happen. So um, I appreciate you guys very much. Thank you for sticking with me for 20 minutes while I just rambled about dumb shit and popsicles. So I'm going to go into Target and write a fucking jujubes that there are some fucking popsicles. Anyway, I love you guys very much. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy your Sunday. Be safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Um, don't kiss nobody. Don't don't kiss the peepees. Don't kiss nobody. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, just be careful out there. Um, is it Suhani? Well, Suhani, you can only you could only control what's in front of you right now that you have control of physically. Just I know it's gonna suck. I know things suck. Th shit sucks. 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 Um, but you can only af control how it how you let it affect you. So I hope that um, whatever it is that you're going through, that you can kind of take the reins on it and find some peace. And find some, I'm sending you some healing vibes. I I pray that, you know, we all find some peace or something that gives us back just a little glimpse of hope and a little bit, you know, more or less concern and a little more um, positivity. Uh, because at this point in time, there's so many people dealing with different scenarios of things in lives that it just seems like it's just an endless pit of shit. Um, and, you know, you can only control what you have in front of you and how you let that affect you. And you can cry about it. You can be mad about it. You can write about it. You can scream, kick, do all that. Hopefully not to anyone else. You don't want to get arrested for assault on top of all that shit. Um, we don't want to involve the law anyway. Um, but deal with it the best way you know how. And then try to move on. And I say try because it's easier said than done. It always is. Uh, but once you do and you pass that hurdle, you'll feel a weight lifted off your shoulder. And you're now a stronger person. You have now moved on to a different sentence in the chapter of your book. And you can move on to finish that chapter. Anyway, guys. I don't even know if that made sense. I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Feel free to keep commenting down below. I'll, I'm going to try to update you guys like probably that morning of surgery because I'm going to be a fucking wreck um, and I'm going to see if I can remember the film or I'll probably be just shitting my brains out who knows um, <laughs> and then I will uh, probably go live on Facebook or probably go live on here after surgery um, you guys take care be well every day is a new day every moment is a new moment it just, just, just eat it keep it moving keep it moving all right guys love you bye I don't know how to do it.